angelically I will start out through forests of paper to very old music with myriads of lights expanding the night sounding dense metallic texts in rambling streets always with adolescent thirst guided by the first fragrance of the day stepping lightly on fractured shadows I will start out angelically against the indomitable torrents of fear my inner darkness will surge out in consecutive waves eruptive dealing destruction with every breath till the riven sunset densely measuring the twilight in combat ready lines of iron clad words On rainbows I'll walk, in gravitational orbit, with hoarse voices marking the moment, beckoning embattled flowers, with sound-inducing sparks, melodically driving the wind through wide kilometers of concerted meanders towards the labyrinth's edge as the path fades I will surrender to a percussive fan with keyboard flowers dawning over amphitheaters with wooden whiffs cooling the broad-leaved memory of a willem spring inexorably breaking through the cracks while a multitude of thoughts staring fixedly rise up seeking the sun Encaged words insufficient, words pierced, words of note bombastic, nostalgic words, adaptable words, transmuted words, mortal words, sown words pliant words unborn radiant the hours crawl mindlessly idling deployed feminine entrenched Riding the spiral of time in a steady, unswerving course to an irresolute exit. Armed against ancient terrors, defying the signified, I will direct Serenity's beam into the marble reflection of a powerless winter with a field unfolding forth to precisely define in small formations the necessary ascend towards the source of a distant misgiving without luck without money 
but always with an option to select. Wrapped in an illusion of loneliness, reliant on solid foundations, I will search for you in unlit avenues, behind the mask of dawn, seeking the hidden essence of a crucial doubt. In strange glossy containers, or in the transparent coffins of sorrow, until I come to the eternal crossroads, not knowing what to reach for first, your blonde leaves or your supple trunk. This great dilemma devastates me. Dancing on harsh rock, two companions in an eternal bond are softly sculpting scents, while over the future ruins, graven kites open up, scattering color. Happily inside your piano the strings, well-tuned, tenderly vibrate the air in its guts. With a sturdy and deep presence in their parallel oscillations or in the pauses between cordial resonances where only you exist. I remember. I never forgot. There was a single familiar face guiding among Ordinary caricatures. Juicy. Under its hard shell. Flexible. But strong. Then it dawned on me. All these years of journeying were not in vain. It's time you broke the bounds. Stop seeking a princess in distress. Life is calling, can't you hear? Go taste it before you give up the ghost. Never remain a passive spectator. Rise up against filth and decay. Look your fear in the eye. Yes, you can. Reach out and seize the day. This slump that keeps you silent comes from that fatal woman. Rush forth and take her in your arms. She's called reality and she's a beauty. Why are you staring at me? I told you I'm leaving. The drums of departure are rolling, and I'll presently be wrapped in a water envelope, holding a bunch of hopes, lost in the moonset, with heavy, very heavy baggage. Come down, I'll wait for you. Spring's intensity forces me to fiercely fight back against the inevitable. Barricaded in gloomy corridors with scarce supplies 
or at the battlements against the sun, looking down on the monsters, astonished before the raw indifference of force. I have no choice but to journey towards the future, embarking the past. I will plunge into pages, raising letters that falling will form mimetic images of the art of the sublime with a caring accompaniment of mature base steps, chasing the dark away, protecting a faint glimmer, and I will secure behind me the entrance to sheer silence with a solitary note. Dawn breaks without light. Grey breathes the sea. Yesterday's joyous layers are crushed under the folds of a memory that will not be forgotten. No matter how I try to placate it, through little happy moments, under the sleepless eye of the big bad wolf. Every time I remember everything. A wise people or foolish fowl? Irrelevant. The prison always remains the same, artfully deceptive, ripe with false allures and relics, with captive light, underground feeding hope, with a promise of sound and of color. And only if we support one another will we someday find the exit together. When the battle begins, invocations will be futile. Don't play alone and defenseless. Nobody will be moved. The first thing you have to remember is just that you are not alone. The sun will always rise and the wind will always push you gently into the eye of the storm, to landscapes mystically flowing behind your armor, whispering Shut up and fight. High above the stage, before thousands of witnesses, music assumes shape and form, leaving its traces on the rock, in perpetual motion, or fall but its playful glimmer will be forever had. The audience have taken it with them. Deciduous the hours swim in the gears of time, weaving oblivion under the sound of the shadows preparing the endless night 
and the dominion of its beings in its dark universe. Worn down, my sword blunt from fighting against the shadows of attrition that keep on coming more and more frightening. I cry the final call, which is immediately answered by the legion of the friends of the real, who lunge into the chaos of the day without unnecessary thoughtfulness, and with calm gaze, full of care, or perhaps purposeful thought, in front of columns erected by men, treat Hades to some sweet wine. The mounted summer canters out of control, manically foaming among the signs spring has left behind with a heavy load on its back and with a finger on the scars of history. In shiny fields the mind sails out, guided by electric starlight, and with a steady hand on the wheel, turns north by thirty degrees, trapped still in its obsessions, thirsty for something that struggles to free itself from the bonds of fear, to fly again towards a prolusory land where the light lurks always in the dark and with no hesitation springs up unextinguished to give life once more to a spirit that always manages to torture itself. Among foamy waves, against the reeds, smolders a tiny hope that will sprout at the right moment with logic, passion and wisdom to calm the universe. Light is trying to seep through a sea of indifferent things, tearing the music in two, scattering letters on emerging faces among cordial foliage, peeking behind fences to establish its place as master of everything. Neuron blasts spread out in a torrent of flashes to protect the mind from the ruthless onslaught of a thousand cells of darkness which threaten my all. Yes, I'm in danger. And so are you. Sit down and listen to me, because I'm about to leave. No matter how many obstacles you come across, or how many vortices, 
everywhere and always, there will be something to hold on to. A clue. A few crumbs along the road. A good fairy, perhaps. To show you how to ride the stars. Or the arrow of time upstream. Breaking the bonds to the present. And when you reach where you want to be, you look back. Smiling. Talk to me. I still abide. I may look abandoned. But I'm alive inside. And your voice will echo loudly in my empty corridors and be preserved in my magical forest, leaving its print on the mud of memory. Your presence stands out like an angel amidst the ruins of the day, sows colors, reminds of how important it is to play, fills everything with music. Everything is fluid, and I know this terrifies you. You don't know where to turn to, who to believe, or how these steps appeared in front of you, and why this shadow has been following you everywhere. But remember, you're not just a gear or an ornament. Your taste is pithy and lights up flames that sweeten the night, dancing against the clouds. Every thought a sun, every word a revelation that startles. But don't be long now. The stairs await you. Like a volcano, your booming sound shocks, shatters reality, bathes the text of the day in light, changes the perspective, and sends me on a journey, alone. When you press a key, you set a mechanism in motion. Actions have consequences. Often you have many options. These have consequences too. Sometimes unpredictable. Sometimes not. Never forget that. I don't want to be for you, neither a conqueror, nor a servant, but an adorable deuteragonist, like those living in the books you love, because you are the star of the plot, and when I look at you, I feel like a child meeting his hero for the first time. Circling from afar, or glancing from up close, I will come, a stranger in the crowd, 
to hear your voice. Assume its form. To resonate till the end of memory, spreading its warmth throughout my little universe, adorning its center and covering everything. My world revolves around you in slow motion. Every minute an eternity, every second a millennium, and when it closes the circle, it goes on to start all over again. Someday I will learn the value of persistence. And then I will find my steps again and boldly traverse these circle degrees. <laughs>